What's up everybody? It's me again, Shields with Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through our brand new lot model. Uh, we have the Sparta One, a brand new Sparta One here on the lot. So I'm gonna be taking you through it, pointing out some, um, you know, some options, some upgrades, what we did unique um, on ours, just kind of going through the same stuff that I kind of always hit on in these videos. Um, as far as this exterior goes, we show it with the saddle roof. And what I mean by that is this middle section of the roof is raised up. It's a raised roof, saddle roof. We complement it with some vertical siding in the turn gables up top. Two corbels as well. We show this lot model with the optional brick foundation, which we complemented with the brick steps and the brick columns as well. We do not show this home with shutters. What we call those is lineals or Salem trim. side for you we actually did some vertical siding up in the gable ends as well to kind of complement the uh, front gables there again I say this in all my videos but the Sparta one is a two module home so this is a site-built front porch. It could have been something the exact same. It could have been totally different. This is a very good looking exterior. One of the more popular exteriors. Now with your nationwide homes, that is going to be your standard front door, that Craftsman style front door. The lineals are also a standard. Um, we show this with an upgraded vinyl. This would not be a standard vinyl color or lap, um, but it's very popular. This saddle roof creates a six by 30 front porch. So six foot in depth, 30 feet in width, or 30 feet across. Got the nice brick columns here. You know, I get a lot of questions about this. You've seen concrete floors on the porch in my other videos. It could have been treks. You know, it, it can be whatever all that's really done on site so all right let's get in here so you've seen quite a few spartas at this point but ours is a little unique and i'm going to try my best to point those things out but again, nice open concept, a lot of glass, the huge kitchen, the nice dining area. We do have the shiplap gas fireplace shown in our model, which you've seen in one other video, but just wanted to point that out again. That is a coat closet there. I'll try to show you that before I get done. 
So what I'm gonna do now, after I show you the kitchen, Number one, I wanna show you the original Sparta floor plan, and I wanna show you the one I'm showing you in this video and explain the differences in a nutshell. Awesome walk-in pantry there. Incredible walk-in pantry. All right, so number one, this is the Sparta plan that I'm walking you through right now, okay? I got some things I want you to notice. I want you to notice this big, huge walk-in pantry here. I want you to notice the location of bath two, and I want you to notice the location of the utility room, and I want you to notice the layout of the bathroom and the this is how you get into our closet here. I want you to notice the entrance to the master closet, okay? Now this is technically your original Sparta cut sheet. So number one, our utility room is originally off the front, which we have flipped to the back, which I've explained in other videos. We took bath two and replaced it where our utility room was, and then we extended the pantry the full length of this area because we don't have a water heater in this particular model. It would be a tankless hot water heater. So we were able to absorb all of that space to create that pantry. Now in the bathroom, I've said this before, but pretty much every plan is going to be a shower and a tub, okay? And this plan, the original Sparta plan, when you walk in the master bedroom door, you access the closet directly off of this buffer area, okay? And then you get to the master bath, you have a 60 inch shower, a freestanding tub with the full size window over the tub, and then a water closet there, okay? In our model, again, the one I'm taking you through now, the full-size pantry, we flip the bath and utility room, okay? And then in the master bedroom, you don't access the closet here. You actually go through the master bath and you access it through a pocket door right there, okay? So, in the original cut sheet, that full-size window is over the tub, okay? Well, obviously we absorb this space here with the huge shower, okay? So in order to get the full-size window back for the outside to look good, we put the full-size window in the master closet. So our bathroom that I'm gonna show you today, huge shower, no tub, you access the closet through a pocket door from the bathroom the original cut sheet calls for the closet to be accessed off this buffer area here, tub, shower, or tub, shower, and then the free uh, full-size window over the tub in the bath. Ours is here. That's what you'll be walking today. All right. Back to the fun stuff. So, you know... I try to generalize this stuff as best as possible, but you know, in your mind, you need to think of fancy ceiling work like this, whether it be tray ceiling, exposed beams, you need to think of, about that as an upgrade. I would always call a fireplace an upgrade. I would always call the transom windows above existing windows, the transoms there, I would always call those upgrades as well. Um, but you know, like the crown molding, the base molding, um, all of that would be standard, your standard front door, um, your standard trims around your um, windows and doors. 
This is a Formica countertop, which I would call standard as well. I've shown a lot of granite. I've shown a lot of quartz. I would call that Formica standard. Um, you know, stainless steel Whirlpool appliances are standard. Now, um, we did, you know, we went with an upgraded fridge in here, but it would be a stainless steel Whirlpool fridge. I always point out all your switches and outlets are undermounted with the built-in under cabinet lighting. Um, the switches and the outlets being underhung like that are standard. Now that lighting would be an, an upgrade, but I'm gonna call it always an option. All right, so now I'm going to head to the left side of the house. Let me grab this, actually. All right, so when you get to this left side, if you keep going straight, you have a bedroom. This bedroom is a 13 by 10. It's a good size here. Nice double window. And both of these spare bedrooms have walk-in closets as well. Notice the five panel doors. I would call those an upgrade. Um, typically it's gonna be a two panel door, but the five panel is very popular, not terribly expensive either. All right. Back to this little hallway area here. So I'm gonna come from the kitchen again. Um, if you get to this same bedroom, but take a left, you have a full bath. Remember, this is originally where the utility room was located. Good floor space in here. And then the tub shower combo. All right, back to this hallway area. If I would have came from the kitchen and taken a right, you have that rear loading utility room here. Nice storage closet there. And then I'm back to this back bedroom. Now this is a 13 by 12. So a little bit bigger than the other bedroom. Not terribly bigger. Good size in here as well. Another walk-in closet. Now I'm about to enter the master bedroom, okay? So here's that buffer area off of the master bedroom entrance. 
Keep in mind your closet access is typically here, which you'll see in my other videos, but ours is different. And then here's your master bedroom. This is about a 17 by 13. You got some good size in here as well. We show it with the optional tray ceiling. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but we are showing this model with nine foot ceilings. We do show the optional barn door leading into the master bath. We show this master bath with this awesome, beautiful four foot by eight foot shower. The double sink. Look at all those drawers. Three columns of drawers there. And you have a linen cabinet here. So like I said, typically when you walk in this bathroom, the original cut sheet, the water closet would be there. The 60 inch ceramic shower would be tucked in that corner and you'd have a freestanding tub there with the full size window basically where I'm showing you with my fingers there above the window. So we still wanted to get the natural light in this shower. So we put a, probably a three foot transom on the left side of this shower. Beautiful tile. This might be my favorite shower. All right, so like I said, in our model, you access this closet directly from the bath which makes a lot of sense because, you know, if you have somebody who leaves early in the morning, they can come in here, shower, get ready, come out. They don't have to be walking in and out of the master bath around the corner to the closet. Um, Again, so because we didn't have the full size window in the bathroom, we wanted our outside to still be symmetrical with the window scheme, so we slid a full size window in this master closet. So if you are gonna be a person that goes with a tub, maybe not the hugest or biggest shower in the bathroom, we can probably get that full size window back into that uh, bathroom, which is gonna make my closet bigger. Um, it just depends on the person and how, what your wants and needs are. A lot of variations of the bathroom, of course. So headed back into the master bedroom. Remember guys, this is the Sparta one. This is the lot model here at our location at 2450 North Church Street in Burlington, North Carolina. Zip code 27217. Um, like I said in the video, this is, we call it the Carolina Logan. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Carolina Sparta because we sell so many of the uh, Spartas with the changes that I went over that we've just kind of made it its own thing. But it is obviously based off of the true original Sparta 1, which I tried to kind of show you the differences between the two today. Um, we're really excited about this, this home. You're pretty, it's pretty clear that the Sparta, you know, some form of it is probably our best selling home. Um, we couldn't be happier with it. But if you wanna come out and take a look at it, you know, give us a call at the office, 336-226-9066. I'm trying to get creative on these videos. You know, I wanna do some more stuff as far as, you know, maybe some more uh, office videos where I'm just kind of talking about the process. Um, so, you know, you guys let me know what you think on what I could incorporate or do differently or add. Um, but again, this is the Sparta one. 
here on our lot. I'm gonna go out here one more time and show you. Remember, this is a site-built front porch, so um, it could be different, but this is very popular. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Continue to comment. Um, tell people to subscribe if they have not. You subscribe if you have not. And you guys have a good one. Let me take you in one more time real quick. There you go. The money shot. Can't beat it. See you guys.